Glad you're back. Tonight we have Little Bear Finds a Friend. Little Bear held on to his mother's skirt. He refused to go out the front door. I don't want to go to school, he said tearfully. I won't know anyone. Albert and Alfred will be in the classroom right next door, coaxed Mother Bear. For a moment, Little Bear brushed away his tears, but then he remembered some things his brothers had said about school. There's too much homework, Little Bear, Albert had volunteered. You must be quiet. You can't make lots of noise, Alfred had chimed in. Little Bear started to cry all over again. He turned to Mother Bear. But who will be my friend? There will be lots of friends for you to meet at school, Mother Bear answered. But you must remember one thing. To find a friend, you must be a friend. Then she slipped Little Bear's backpack over his shoulders. Now, come along, urged his mother. You'll find some delicious honey sandwiches and a blueberry muffin in here for your lunch. Somehow that didn't make Little Bear feel any better, even though he usually loved honey sandwiches and blueberry muffins. But he knew that when his mother said, now come along, it meant he better do what she said. Sadly, he gave Mother Bear a little bear hug. Then he started down the path, tagging along after his brothers. Soon they came to the little red schoolhouse. It looked very big, and Little Bear felt very small. Alfred and Albert left him at the door of his classroom. Peeking inside, Little Bear didn't see one friend. Only the teacher smiled at him and said, Good morning. Finally, he stepped inside and chose a chair closest to the door. Then his mother could see him right away when she came to pick him up, and he would see her sooner, too. Little Bear looked around and saw the children doing all kinds of fun things. One was painting at an easel. A boy was washing dishes with real soap and water. And two children were planting seeds. But Little Bear just sat and watched and waited. He was still afraid, and he couldn't tell which one was his friend. Just then the teacher came over and showed him a pretty bluebird some of the children were cutting out. Little Bear, would you like to take one of these home today? She asked him. Feeling somewhat braver, he answered, Well, maybe, I think so. And he was able to cut out his bluebird very nicely. Just as he finished, the little girl next to him started to cry. She didn't know how to cut out her bird. Little Bear remembered what it had been like when he had tried to cut out Valentine's last year for his mother and brothers. He had cried then too. I'll show you how to cut out your bluebird, he offered. Between them, they soon had the job done. Would you be my friend, Little Bear? His new friend asked. And of course, Little Bear said in a big, loud, Yes! That evening, after Mother Bear had tucked him in and kissed him goodnight, he thought about his first day of school and the new special friend he'd made. Mother Bear is right, he said to himself. Finding friends is easy to do if you remember to be a friend yourself. Remember that. Finding friends is easy to do if you remember to be a friend yourself. Little Bear finds a friend. It's a good one. See you tomorrow night.